Hi guys, my name is Paul Kretz and today we are reviewing another product by Freewell Company. This is the device. This company has a very great reputation, at least by myself. Uh, we've been in contact with them for many years and they send me products for a review. And uh, this is a new type of a product. Previously I've reviewed a lot of their filters for cameras, for lenses, lens filters. And they were brilliant and I use them all the time myself. And recently they developed, started developing new types of products. For example, the uh, travel tripod that I use right now for shooting this video. And I have a review of that and the filters on my channel. Please go watch that. And now they are venturing into a new area and that is the card readers. And th these are professional grade card readers. Card readers are really, really important devices for anyone um, shooting digital media like photographers, videographers, drone operators, and even for your smartphones and tablets which have memory cards, you really better have a card reader. Because if you use a regular SD slots, like mostly myself, I'm using the SD slot most of the time. Well, we have a, a regular SD slot in a laptop, but if you have a professional grade cards, and I'll tell you which ones later, you really need a separate card reader or if you're on the go, if you have a computer that doesn't have a built-in uh, card reader or something like that. Well, this is really important. You need to dump your footage somehow to your devices from your cameras, whatever types that would be. So, this is the device, but uh, before uh, telling you all it in details, let me have a little disclaimer. Freewell do not pay me any money for making these reviews. They just sent me the products for free. And I, you know, I give my honest and independent feedback. So thanks, huge thanks to them for allowing such small channels as mine to review their products, their innovative products and very high quality and very interesting products. And despite card readers being such an important part of our work, so to say, previously I did not pay much attention to these types of devices. And as I've said, I've used my laptop slot for SD cards and for some other types I used these cheap plastic, dirt cheap readers from the likes of AliExpress. They're very cheap, they work quite fine and if they break I can easily replace them because they're dirty cheap. But you know, this is small, this is plastic, maybe not reliable in a built quality, but they work. But the uh, most disadvantage is that uh, they have uh, quite a slow um, write and read speeds. So usually my, my regular routine was to, you know, come home or to the studio from my shoots, then uh, put the card in the reader, reader in the PC, and let it transfer. And then I go, you know, cook some sandwich and prepare a cup of coffee or tea. And when I get back, the footage is dumped. So it takes some time. But with these readers, these are very high speed readers. You won't have to have such a routine because, you know, small uh, photo sessions would transfer within a second. And even big, huge shoots of, say, videos, video files are really big uh, these days. Uh, it's still gonna take a matter of minutes. And uh, I'll tell you about the speed later. But now let's start from the beginning and uh, get started with the uh, unboxing. And as you see, the box is, as always with the Freewell company, is of fantastic quality. The carton itself is of very, very high quality and the printing on it, it's all brilliant. You just, when you uh, hold it in your hands, you just immediately realize this is a very high quality manufacturing. And what's inside the box? It's really simple. It's an instruction manual and of course the reader itself and underneath there is an, uh, a carabiner, the traditional Freewell carabiner. Uh, which they include with almost all of their products and additionally the adapter from the USB-C to USB-A uh, connector and that is that is why <laughs> that is where something interesting happens as you see in this footage of my unboxing when I um, took out this uh, adapter and plugged it in and connected it to the reader itself the reader has a USB-C 
uh, cable, small cable, and I just connected the adapter there. And then I, when I tried to unplug it, <laughs> actually the shield, the cover of the adapter just fell off. <laughs> it seems like it's just unglued. And I was so astounded and surprised. I've never bumped into such situations with Freewell products. They are always of very, of the highest quality. Everything is reliable. Everything is tightly built, but this time the um, this connector shield just fell off. So I immediately contacted the company and I sent them the footage of my original unboxing and the pictures by their additional request. And they said that they are astonished as well and it's the first time that it happens. And so they were very sorry. They were very communicative and very grateful for my feedback. And they sent me another copy of this adapter. And as you see in this additional footage, I'm, you know, clearly unboxing it all before, before your eyes. So you would know, suppose it's something, you know, built up situation. No, it's, it's all honest. So you see the uh, second adapter that they sent me is fully intact. It's really, the shield is glued very well. I don't know, however, it's um, kept in place, but it's, it does not fall off. It's good, it's reliable. I can plug it in, plug in, plug, unplug it. So it's kept in place and it's all fine. But even now, even with the broken connector, I actually found some uh, usefulness in that because one of my uh, disappointments in this um, card reader. Before telling you it all in details, I will tell you that this is a, you know, uh, this is like a really nice box and everything is inside of this uh, metallic reliable case, except for these adapter. And the adapter does not fit the case itself. So if you need a card reader, and if you need an adapter with you, you have to keep them separately and, you know, put the adapter to your pocket or whatever, or to some pocket in your backpack or whatever. I don't know. Well, to me, it is obvious that if you have an adapter and it is very popular, of course, the type A is, you can put it anywhere, any device, any computer, even the oldest ones, but you don't want to keep it separately. You definitely want to keep this adapter inside of the case. And there is no space, there is no place in the adapter, in, the, in this case, for the reader. And I even tried to place it in, in some space of the reader and try to close it with the adapter inside, but it does not fit. But when this shield unglued and fell off, <laughs> I actually found, found out that I can uh, really keep the connector without the shield in the space of the CF Express Type B slot. And if I place this connector without the shield there, then the case could close and thus I could hold this connector, this adapter connector with me within the case. <laughs> that's, that's happened just accidentally, but you see, this is really useful. This way, uh, for the cost of, you know, occupying CF Express Type B slot, I can actually hold the adapter with me. Yes, without the shield, but it still works and it's still uh, intact. You know, you know it, it will work still, but at least you can keep it all in one case. So, I, I don't know, I don't know. I would su suggest that uh, Freewell just uh, make some, you know, something additional to keep the uh, adapter with the case or within the case, modify it something or make these adapters uh, thinner so that they could fit somehow inside of this case. These are my thoughts. So, but, but uh, thankfully, thanks to this uh, adapter, you know, uh, kind of like breaking, well, it's not breaking, it's still working, but you know, this shield falling off, I revealed that uh, there is a disadvantage and there is a way around it, so <laughs> that's just a funny, fun fact. Now let's talk about the, uh, the card reader itself. Well, it's quite, uh, really quite simple. You just open it, the case is metallic and it is very, very reliable and it's made of aluminum alloy. So it's, it's, it's metal, you can easily throw it in your backpack and it will not break, will not interfere with anything else, it will keep you from the most of the dirt and dust and I believe to some extent it will um, protect it from the moisture and water because it's 
closed quite tightly so it's secure it's secure because there's a lot of space a lot of holes in it for the cards so there's a lot of space for dust and dirt to get in so you definitely want to keep it uh, in the case especially if you are traveling if you're a professional if you're on a safari i don't know in the north, north pole shooting uh, polar bears or something like that you really want to keep this um, safe uh, dry and uh, clean so that's what the case for, is for and since i'm showing it to you in a b-roll let me just read the instruction manual for a very brief of time because there is some uh, nice and important information well, the dimensions you just saw, it's just a little bigger than my palm, but the weight is only 168 grams. Well, this is um, uh, way bigger than I actually was thinking it was. And you see, it is much bigger than my regular, like, cheap plastic card reader. But this is not a reader, this is also a storage, as I told you. But this is really light. It is not much heavier than this small one. This is really, really light. Yes, it is quite big for, um, for what it is, but it is really light. It's not weighty at all. And now it's made of aluminum alloy and glass. So this is really firm and reliable. And now, uh, what about it? What um, about the connectivity? It has the USB Type C cable, so it's the most contemporary type of cable, the most reliable, maybe the most, the easiest to to connect to any kinds of devices, to tablets, to smartphones, even laptops now have the direct Type C connectors, so that's good. And the most important use here is that this uh, Type C device does not need any drivers it does not need any additional software you just plug it into your tablet smartphone pc or whatever and it just works you just need your regular explorer or, or finder or whatever software you are um, natively use and it will work and so now the technical the important technical information it has four slots for for four type cards and these are sd TF, which is micro SD, and the CF Express type A and type B. And uh, one of the most amazing things about this reader, it can read and write all four types simultaneously. So just one USB C cable, and you can put in all four types simultaneously and they'll they will show on your device as four separate cards at the same time that's fantastic that's never heard of because this cheap reader can only show one card it has like one output it has multiple inputs but just one output and this is quite the opposite it has multiple inputs and just uh, one output like a cable i mean but um Internally, it will show you all the cards that you plug in. So, what are the specifications of all these slots? And here we come to the speeds. First, the SD 4.0 card slot is compatible, of course, with the SDXC and HC cards, and it um, supports the cards up to two terabytes capacity. You know, this is the highest we can get these days. And of course, it supports both UHS 2 and UHS 1. That's great, and it um, supports the transfer speeds picking at 5 gigabits per second via USB 3.2 generation 1. So this is a very, very high speed, especially for SD card. Now, the TF 4.0 slot, slot is absolutely the same as the SD slot, the, the cards are just smaller, so they are micro SDXC and micro SDHC, and they are absolutely the same capability and speed as the bigger regular SDs. And by the way, both of these cards are hot swappable, so you can remove them, pull them out anytime you want, and you will not destroy your footage. But, well, of course, uh, be careful do not pull them out while some reading or writing happening right at the particular moment just wait until you copy or delete or whatever or play but still you can re remove the cards securely and now the two other slots the cf express type b and a they are for different types of cards different subtypes of uh, the cf uh, express cards but they have the same uh, capabilities and these are up to 10 gigabits per second using usb 3.2 generation 2 so these are twice as fast as these d cards and also hot swappable so 
these are really really fast um, uh, speeds and uh, they support most of the you know uh, systems starting from as old as XP Windows Windows XP and all the newer versions in Mac Mac OS starting from 10.6.2 versions and above Linux Android iPad OS and stuff and stuff so all contemporary and even old um, types of uh, operating systems and that's basically all about it and now what slots do we have? As I've told you, we have uh, four slots for read and write for the cards themselves, but the storage is much bigger. It can contain and hold up to 13 cards. You know, in this one case, this is what is why this, that's why this is bigger than this, because you can store up to 13 cards. And which are these? Well, you can store up to six TF cards. Well, mostly for your smartphone, your drone or your tablet. Three, three regular SD cards, that's a lot, I tell you, this is really a lot. And uh, one uh, CF type A and one CF type B. And even more than that, you can store up to two nano SIM cards if you need. And you have a special additional small, you know, pin for extracting uh, the, for extracting the nano SIM cards and uh, using it with your smartphones. So this is a this is eject pin, a very useful small little piece. One more thing that I would like to point out personally, but I believe there are a lot of guys like me in this world, and that is the CF slot. There is no CF slot in this reader, and these are, yeah, they are outdated, these CF cards. They are old, but they are still quite fast for old cameras, and guys like me, who still use the brilliant old cameras like 5D Mark III or 7D Mark II by Canon or 5D Classic, or the old uh, professional DSLRs like 1D, 1DS, 1DX, they all have uh, CF cards. In my cheap uh, old uh, card reader has CF slot here and unfortunately this one doesn't have so for my old cards this is actually uh, my old cameras this is actually use useless and I would love to have a CF slots here and maybe the uh, and maybe the simpler version of this card reader that Freewell actually has, they have a simpler version of this. This is called Pro Reader, and they have a simple reader with the two uh, type of cards with TF and SD. And I would love the CF be there in uh, the simpler version of it, because I think there are still a lot of guys using old uh, DSLR cameras with CF cards and other types of devices with the CF cards. But there is no such slot here. Just go on with the technologies, you know, buy modern gear and use CF Express. No CF uh, reader here, unfortunately for me personally. Well, so there's not much more to say about this. This is just a fantastic device. And my only concern is that you can not store your adapter within the uh, reader itself, within the case. And some additional thing. And that is, that is uh, why it is good if you are a specialist and in uh, different areas. Like for me, I've been a musician and sound engineer for over 20 years. Well, maybe like, even close to 25 years. And so in my sound recording studios, I used a lot of cables. And I can tell you right away that this cable is of very high quality. Really, it is, because it is thick, but it is soft and it is flexible. Such types of cables are usually of very high quality, and I've used tons of different cables in my sound recording studio. So, the cable itself is really high quality, I, um, I'm sure of that, but it is bent, you see? It is stored within the reader itself, and it is bent right here and stored inside here, and it is bent at the same place all the time and even uh, despite that this bending is rounded you still bend this cable you know at the same place over and over again and i'm telling you even the highest quality cables if you bend them over and over at the same place they can break uh, at some point so this is really makes me in, in, uh, unsure of how long is it gonna serve because you know bending it back and uh, back and forth for many times i'm really afraid that it can break 
I think it would be better if they uh, you could store your cable like straight, not bending all the time. But you know, time will show how long is it gonna live. So only two concerns about this product is this bending cable. I'm not sure of it, and the uh, the the ability to store your uh, car, your adapter within the reader. Except that this is the fastest reader. I've ever seen the fastest reader and writer device for, uh, for memory cards that I've ever seen. So this is a great product, great quality, great capabilities, fantastic speeds. And um, that's about it. Another very high quality product from the Freewell company. I hope this accident just, you know, just a single and nothing happen like that happens again. And you know, this adapter is good again, but so for professional a usage this is a fantastic reader and so this is comes highly highly recommended if you if you need a nice high speed reliable reader just go with it now thanks to freewell for sharing with me uh, can't wait to receive new products for, from them to give you my opinions on that and paul kratz was here with you and i'll see you in the next videos or maybe not it's up to you